so who remembers mouse toggle who used to use mouse toggle whose mouse toggle doesn't work anymore this is a fire stick app which allows you to have a mouse cursor around applications which was really good for applications which were different sizes to your usual um, navigation so if there are mobile apps maybe on your fire stick that sort of stuff or on your fire tv but mouse toggle no longer works on fire sticks or fire tvs without going through some crazy process to get it working um, which we don't want to do so i'm going to show you a free alternative 100 percent free not going to cost you anything nice and easy to set up nice and easy to use and i'm going to do it step by step for you first thing all i ask for free again is hit that follow button hit that subscribe button and we will keep you up to date with all your streaming needs so this is mouse toggle i'm sure many of you recognize it enable the mouse service turn it on it says starting but the problem is it does not work anymore so at the bottom you'll see it says error um, so that's a no-go so we just get rid of that i would uninstall it you don't need it anymore what we're going to do is install a brand new app and you're going to have a mouse which you can control from your phone it's really easy so let me just show you my mobile phone uh, let me find it for you there we go so there's my mobile phone um, it is an android phone i'm going to be honest i have not tested this on an iphone because i do not have one so if someone can do that for me and if anyone has any problems throughout this video comment underneath and come join our discord which is in our links underneath as well okay so first you're going to do you're going to go into your play store and you're going to search Wi-Fi mouse or Wi-Fi mouse for smart TV will bring it up for you and you'll scroll down to one which is called Android TV ADB mouse keyboard but I'm going to link it directly under the video straight to the actual app to download okay and if you're watching on other platforms it'll be in my bio as well so download that application and then you need to hit open okay you can read all the things there it's good to read first time through so you know what you're doing and it will say as you'll see at the bottom corner not configured one key thing as you'll see i'm using mine one key thing you need to use and make sure sorry is that your fire stick or your fire tv and your mobile phone are on the same network okay so they're on the same network so same internet as such okay and if you're on a vpn you need to be on the same vpn network as well or the vpn server okay so they can communicate so you then click on the settings cog load this one up and you'll see network settings there's two options in here you've got find server automatically which is really good really simple but the downside is it may find loads of items which it can connect to so you might not know which one is which or the server ip address one where you can do it yourself and you enter your server ip address and to find your server ip on a fire tv device is very easy you go across to your settings go down to my fire tv click on where it says about and then click on network okay well you don't even need to click on network it's all there so you'll see on the side there mine is 192.1 six eight point one point one nine two there we go so that is just an internal ip address for the actual device there's no real worries you guys it's not the end of the world if you guys see that so we're going to click ok and this will pop up allow usb debugging i would put always allow from this computer click allow and when we then click backwards on our remote You'll see in the bottom corner there now says connected which is great obviously the mouse part of it as you'll see nothing going on works when you're in applications okay when you're in an app but you can bring up a keyboard um not a keyboard sorry or you can bring a keyboard up a navigation thing but you don't really need that we're only doing this for the mouse okay although this could be useful if you have it set up in case you lose your remote so we get rid of that we're going to go home and we're going to load up an application doesn't really matter what application we just find an application that we can navigate ourselves around just so I can show you it works. So, for example, if we go into, say, I don't know, it doesn't really matter what we go into. Um, let's go into uh, Netflix. Let my Netflix load up quickly. I'm still here on this phone. And obviously, as you'll see here, I have a mouse. Wait, you can change the sensitivity on it. If I tap the screen, it will let me in. And then obviously you can scroll around with your mouse. 
and things like that. It's very useful. Okay, very, very useful. There's a few different um, tips and tricks it can do. Uh, let's go into a different application like your VPN. If you want a VPN, it's linked underneath. But like I said, you do need to be on the same server if you are connected. Um, I'm just going to click on locations because I don't want to because I don't want to connect because it could disconnect me. And obviously, if I do two fingers, it will scroll. And obviously, you can select what you want to do with it as well. You can hit home. You can also bring up a keyboard on this if you want a keyboard or you can copy and paste with it as well if you hold your finger on it. Very useful for setting up things as you go through. So to make life easy, I will link that directly underneath for you. Let me turn that off. It'll be linked directly underneath in the description if you're watching on YouTube, in my bio on other platforms. Um, check it out or just rewatch the video and you'll see how to get it. Um, I'm not being paid by these or anything like that. It's just something I found to try and help you guys out because that's what we do here. We try and help you out for free and as free as possible and keep things as cheap as possible. So it's linked underneath. Hit that follow button, hit that subscribe. Underneath as well, in the link tree, you'll find all my socials and other offers we have for you. Hit thumbs up, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you soon.